So I wanted to talk in this video very quickly about the DAS Pass, which is the disability access system uh, offered by Disney for guests with disabilities. It's essentially where you are given a comeback time and then you wait outside the line queue and then you can access the line. Uh, so at Disney, it's called DAS, D-A-S, Disability um, Access Service or something. And at Universal Studios, it's called the AAP or the Attraction Assistance Pass. I utilize both of these at Disney. I utilize the DAS and at Universal Studios, I utilize the AAP. I've made a, quite a few videos on uh, these topics, so if you're interested in those and some of the details that I talk about, um, check those out. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about, um, I think, an issue that plagues a lot of people with disabilities and especially people with hidden disabilities is there is definitely this societal stigma against, I feel, I mean, I think a lot of people would say there is against basically coming out and saying I have a disability or especially I have a hidden disability. It's like, I don't want anyone to know. What will they think of me? What, you know, will people people look at me differently if I start to openly say that I have something that is less than ideal about me. And I realize that it is a stigma. And unfortunately, it was made a little bit worse by Disney with certain things because one of my worst fears and a lot of times people with hidden disabilities is that people aren't going to believe you because you look fine on the outside. So um, yeah, I had a very bad experience at Disney where this guy looked me up and down and basically felt that I didn't look disabled. And then he claimed he he renewed my DAS. And then it was like a whole thing where they had to apologize it was not a good situation so he basically reaffirmed exactly what I was afraid of and um, so it's about this idea of breaking the stigma and I wish I didn't have an incident like that because that certainly doesn't help to get past the stigma concept but yeah there's this stigma where it's like I don't want anyone to know I want to pretend I'm fine and I don't need it and it's always been a huge um, obstacle for me getting past realizing that I need it and there was a very long time period where um, I I did not want to talk about it and I was very 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 hesitant about coming onto this platform and openly um, stating that I have a disability or hidden disability because once you put it out there it's out there and um, I realized that there's no shame in it and and more importantly it's important to set an example and and show that I'm stating it in order to break to break the stigma and have other people come forward and say I have I have something too and kind of realizing that at the end of the day a lot of people have things and it's kind of like my duty to to, to as someone who's doing YouTube to be one of those people that's breaking the stigma and saying I have this it is something that affects me but I'm learning to live my life with it and um, I think that's important to be one of the people that is helping to break the stigma so yeah it was always difficult for me to talk about um, even to this day I don't talk about it openly with just anyone I mean for the most part you shouldn't like overshare with people you don't know but um, ironic that I'm oversharing on YouTube but um, I think it's important for me to openly express myself on a platform and to completely become myself and that's something that YouTube kind of enables me to do is to kind of like learn and grow and express myself sounds kind of corny but it's true because I can look back on videos and figure out how what I need to learn and what I need to do so I am glad that I am embracing this concept of who I am and that I need DAS I need AAP because if without it I can't go on the rides so I wanted to just kind of make this video and a quick video to talk about um, that to talk about breaking the stigma of people with hidden disabilities and not letting it dictate your life and I guess the first thing to do with that is to not make it a big deal for yourself and to kind of like own everything about you I'm proud of who I am and I, this this is the qualities that I have you know so some may be not ideal but it's it's who I am and yeah so thank you guys for hearing my thoughts and watching this video and I will see you again soon in my next video and bye sidetrack there's a big boat behind me it's, a, it's yeah it's actually considered a small boat for Miami not a proper entrepreneur boat that means you're not doing good entrepreneuring if you were doing better entrepreneuring you could have a bigger boat